My fellow citizens, you have just heard an address by President Lyndon Johnson from the Mormon Tabernacle in Salt Lake City. As President Johnson has so eloquently said, the stakes are high in this election of 1964. We're living in a time of rapid change, change which must be faced both at home and abroad with responsibility. And we're living in the age of nuclear power, power which if wisely used can be a power for good, but which if unwisely used can destroy us all. We are in short living in a time that leaves no margin for change of mind or for afterthought. Once we have elected a president, there is no turning back. Thus the choice we as Americans make next Tuesday is a critical choice. We can continue programs and policies supported by both Democrats and Republicans over the past 30 years and move forward. Or we can risk the alternatives offered by those who oppose them. We can retain an office, an administration which has a solid record of achievement. Or we can place our futures in the hands of those who denounce that achievement. There are those who say that the issues are not clear in this campaign. Well, I say they're all too clear. We must, as Americans, continue to play a full and responsible role in the world and not withdraw from it. We must continue to seek a better life for all in our society and not reserve it to a chosen few. We must elect those who would unite us and not divide us, who would heal our wounds and not open them. We must have a clear mandate for responsibility and progress. I urge you to vote Tuesday to keep in the White House President Lyndon Johnson, a man whose whole life has been dedicated to the fulfillment of our Pledge of Allegiance, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all.